What is XPath in XML? XPath is a technology used in XML. It is used to retrieve elements from XML documents. XPath expressions can be used to locate and retrieve elements, attributes, and values from XML files. Because XML documents are structured, it is similar to SQL. As SQL is used to retrieve data from database, XPath is used to retrieve data from XML. What is XSLT? XSLT is a popular XML technology which is used to transform one XML file to other format like HTML etc. XSLT is like a language which has its own syntax, functions and operator to transform XML documents. XSLT is also used to display data present in XML files as HTML pages. What is the difference between XML, TDT and XML schema or XSD? XSL stands for Extensible Style Sheet Language. It is a language for expressing style sheets. These style sheets are like CSS which describes how to display an XML document of a given type. First point. DTD stands for Document Type Definition whereas XSD stands for XML Schema Definition. Second point. DTD does not support namespaces. It has its own set of keywords to define a schema whereas XSD uses its own set of namespaces and elements to define the schema. Third point. DTD is the predecessor of XML schema whereas XML schema is a new technology. Some XML parser do not support it yet. Is XML meant to be a replacement of HTML? No, both languages have their own specification and used for different purposes. XML is used to describe the data while HTML focus on how to display the data. What is the difference between simple element and complex element? In XML, simple elements are text-based elements. It contains less attributes, child elements and cannot be left empty. But complex elements can hold multiple attributes and elements. It can contain additional sub-elements and empty elements also. What is XML data binding? Why is it used? XML data binding is the process of representing the information in an XML document as an object in computer memory. XML data binding is used to short your development efforts simplify maintenance and increase reliability. It saves your development time and money. It makes working with XML data very initiative. What is XML encoding error? There are two types of XML encoding errors. They are first one. An invalid character was found in text content. Second. Switching from current encoding to specified encoding not supported. These errors occur because XML document can contain non-ASCII characters like Norwegian and French. These errors can be avoided by specifying the XML encoding Unicode. What are the different XML APIs? tree-based API. It compiles an XML document in a tree-like structure and loads it into a memory. You can transverse and change the tree structure. Tree-based APIs are useful for a wide range of applications 
example of tree based api is dom parser event based api an event based api provides the reports to an application about the parsing event it uses a set of built in callback functions example of event based api is sax parsers what is xml reader class and explain about it the xml reader class represents a reader that provides fast non catch it forward only access to xml data you need to import the following namespaces to work with xml reader class in dotnet in vb script imports system.xml in c sharp using system.xml semicolon what is the difference between c data and pc data c data means unparsed character data whereas pc data means parsed character data what is x query x query is a query language that is used to retrieve data from xml document what is xml namespace a namespace is a qualified name that is associated with the dtd or schema location a document may have duplicate elements and attributes so the namespace defines a way to compare duplicate elements and attribute names what is sgml sgml is a vast powerful generalized markup language that is used to define descriptions for the structure of several electronic documents can we use graphics in xml yes we can use graphics in xml graphics can be stored in xml file by using xlink and x pointer it supports graphics like gif jpg tiff png cgm eps and svg formats is xml language is case sensitive yes xml is a case sensitive language what is xlink and x pointer xlink is the standard way of creating hyperlinks in the xml files x pointer which allows those hyperlinks to point to more specific parts of the xml file or document what is xml encoding xml documents may contain non ascii characters like french and norwegian characters xml encoding is used to avoid errors and xml files have to be saved as unicode is there a way to describe xml data yes xml uses document type definition dtd to describe the data